everybody and welcome to the Only of Tank channel. Today we are redoing what we are continuing with Dead Island. From the last episode we managed to get everybody to the lifeguard station. Um, she's not door? looking very good. Hey Jack. Hey. Remember me, mate? Yeah. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. Yeah, you tried the to bash my head in with the baseball from the other bat. Side and Anne's in critical condition. Okay. You think he can help me break the bloody thing down? Sure. Let's see here. Bloody health service. Help Jack into the infirmary. Difficulty easy. Reward 500 XP and cash. Okay, what the hell? What the I hell? I appreciate it. Go on, then. Okay. Oh. I hear groaning. Hmm. Get in this shape. Zombies. Come on. Come get me, big boy. Now, I know there's another one back here. So I can hear them. You know, he's pretty much dead. Back away. Back away. Oh! So satisfying. Loot everything. Loot every shit. There anything else here to loot? No? Okay, let's level up. We'll level up our luck, our money magnet skills. Hey Jack. Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. Okay. Thanks for the cash, buddy. What a bloody disaster. Hmm? Nothing here at all, is there? Uh we need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Okay, makes sense. Find an ambulance or a lifeguard vehicle to bring the paramedics bag to the tower. Difficulty medium, reward 700 XP in a sickle. Okay? Yeah, okay. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Bloody walking corpses. Or both. Okay, what? Does everyone else need? I'm telling you, what do you need, Max? Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. Okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Sure. Uh, look for Kelly's husband, concierge. I think I pronounced that right. A concierge named William. Difficulty medium. Reward 700 XP and a homemade machete. Uh huh. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Okay. What do you want? I ran out in such a rush I left my necklace behind at the hotel. Uh, it's in bungalow six in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? You want me to go and get your necklace? Okay, what the hell? I'm up for it. Damn it. Thank you. Please, be careful. Bitch, I have a hammer. I'm being as careful as I bloody can. I with James. Is Steven still having a go at himself for not going with James? Oh yeah, I can sell some shit I to this guy. Scourge. Uh, what can I sell to you? What am I not using? I'm not using them, 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 not using them. I want to keep them. Morning star could be helpful. Came from outer space. I don't believe so. What the zombie came apocalypse? Down on a goddamn meteor. Okay, so you're saying the zombie apocalypse came down on a goddamn meteor? Not the most absurd theory I've ever heard, but this baby needs some new spark plugs, or she ain't going nowhere. Shame though, it's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. You say so. If you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? Deal. Go Pacetti. Excellent. You locate those parts, and you know where to find me. You have a very nice voice. I don't know what I was going to say, but I decided to go with that. Did I get my knife back? I did. Hey, buddy boy. What do you want, Dom? Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna's too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. 
We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Am I just like the errand boy of the zombie apocalypse? All right. Yeah. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. Capiche? Uh, energy drink. Why not? I'm drinking a Diet Coke. Why not? And no, I am not sponsored by Coca-Cola. As awesome as that would be. The sooner you find what I need, the yeah, 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 yeah. What do you want, big guy? These bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Yeah, okay. Ooh, Molotovs. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Makes sense. So we got quite a few quests. Let's do Lazarus Risings first. So this episode, I plan on doing quite a few quests. Like, hopefully getting some of these side quests done. The game itself, if I remember right, it's not really that long. Honestly, I could be wrong about that, and I'm pretty sure I am. But you can complete it fairly quickly if you just ignore all the optional quests. But I want to take my time with this game. I want to really show what I love about this game and why I really think why I say it is one of my favorite all-time zombie You're games. Good at this. Love it when that happens. Okay. So we're going to upgrade this again. Let's get this car part. Oh, I will say this. Um Me and Nylon, which you should know from the Age of Wonder series, are hopefully gonna be doing a podcast sooner or later. We did do an episode but well, we did do I say an episode. We did do one podcast, but a quite sizable chunk of the audio. I don't even know what happened. It's just pretty much vanished. Whether I accidentally cut it or something like that, I have no clue. But considering it's a podcast, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have cut the audio. I'm pretty sure I would have left it in, so... It's a technical fuck-up on my end. I will openly admit that it is a technical fuck-up on my end. But hopefully me and Island will get our shit together. More or less me, I'll get my shit together. And we'll put out... A diff, another episode, another episode, one of Insight to Insanity, which will hopefully be better and people will actually be wanting to listen. So, if you have any ideas for topics that you want to talk about, then send them to me, post them in the comments below, whatever you wish to do. And we'll see if we can bring them up in the podcast. I'll be sure to. Hold on. Gotta put a. Uh... There we go. I'll be sure to give you I'll be sure to give any who put in an idea or shout out. And if you've got a YouTube channel or anything really like that, then send a link to me and I'll put a link. No, I won't put a link. I'll um uh, how do you do it on a podcast? I've never done a podcast before. I've been doing YouTube videos for over a, for pretty much close to a year now, if not a year, so I know YouTube, I don't know podcasts. So, that's gonna be interesting. Um, you, you can tell what I'm trying to say. If you've got a YouTube channel or such, then just say the name, and we'll try and get some new attention on the podcast or such for submitting an idea. Like, it's free, whatchamacallit, it's free advertisement, I guess. Sorry if I'm sounding a little bit down and I'm not sounding as energetic as I was, um... <laughs> Finding out that the plumbing audio was fucking gone as um it's kinda put me in a little bit of a bad mood, but I don't really I don't want it to spoil the recordings. I don't want it to get in the way of me recording YouTube, enjoying what I do on YouTube with Nylon and Logan and all the other people I collaborate with. Or hope to collaborate with I don't know I'm tired so ultimately today has not really been a good day for me 
And well, hopefully, we'll get my sh I'll get my shit together, and we'll be able to push on forward. Now, to anyone who's wondering why the bloody hell I'm recording when I don't really feel like recording, or when I'm not really in the mood for it, that's mainly because I really don't want to leave it so long, or. I don't want to get into a place where I just don't feel like recording YouTube at all because I've been in that state a couple of times before where I've just not wanted to record at all and that's gone on for several days and it's meant I've stopped recording it's meant I've just stopped interacting with YouTube altogether and I don't want to feel like that again I don't want to go f I don't want to feel like I can't do YouTube right now and that I should just take a break from it because I do want to continue doing YouTube. I love what I do on YouTube and it would just really really irritate me if I got that much, if I got that far down that I just pretty much stopped doing YouTube altogether. But luckily I can pretty much pull myself out of any real jam. So I should be okay. And hopefully I'll be able to bring out some more content that people would like to see and that people enjoy watching, which is pretty much the whole reason I am on YouTube. Because I like doing it. That's like the whole point. You don't do the whole point that I believe behind is behind YouTube is you don't do YouTube if you don't want to do it and I mentioned this in I can't remember if I recorded it or something we probably did it was um my point being that anyone who is on YouTube wants to be on YouTube they want to do YouTube and they want to try and be successful at it like if you don't want to be, if you don't want to be on YouTube. If you don't want to try, and at least if you don't want to be on YouTube and you don't have fun being on YouTube, then you shouldn't really be on YouTube. And this is coming from someone who is an amateur YouTuber. This isn't coming from someone who is already a famous YouTuber. This is coming from someone who has literally 37 subscribers and is still having the greatest time of his life and the reason I say this is it's given me the opportunity to interact with people I wouldn't normally like I wouldn't normally interact with Nylon and Logan I probably would never even know they existed outside of YouTube YouTube gave me the opportunity to speak with these guys and now we're having a bunch of laughs and doing random silly shit. And people will ask, people will ask questions of like, what do I need to get started on YouTube? What do I need to do YouTube and blah 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 blah. Strong. These were the questions I asked myself, and the whole reason I will say this now, and I'm not trying to offend anybody here, but getting started on YouTube in the sense of getting your equipment ready, getting the games ready, getting what you want to do ready is easy as hell. You can have an idea and you can follow through with it. You can have an idea, you can follow through with it. Like my idea for YouTube was Let's Plays and that is what I've been doing. I've been doing Let's Plays and I've been having fun with them but the point being is it can become so taxing and it's some days, we all have the days where we just don't want to do jack shit. We don't want to do anything and we just feel like utter shit. And these are the days where especially if you are... I'm so sorry, Tim. Oh. I'm so sorry. Anyway, these are the day. as I was saying, these are the days that if you do want to try and make a career out of YouTube, Ooh. which... Everyone will say, and I agree with them, it can be risky. It is risky as hell. But that doesn't, that isn't to say you shouldn't try it. You shouldn't try and do what you want to do. 
Like my whole philosophy is, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then you should not be doing it. And I enjoy doing YouTube, which is why I do YouTube. And my advice to anyone, even if you don't ask for it, so let's face it, I'm just a 17 year old kid. 17, what the fuck? I get my own age mixed up. I'm just a 19 year old kid, fucking hell. I get my own age mixed up. <sighs> I'm tired. My brain is not working. Okay. I'm just a 19 year old kid who's talking into a microphone on a headset whilst playing Dead Island. That is literally what I am. That's what I am doing and that is what I am enjoying doing. That is what I enjoy doing. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it and I wouldn't want to continue doing it but I do want to continue doing it I do enjoy doing it and people are probably gonna say well why the fuck are you even talking about this if you're just gonna keep repeating yourself it's because I'm tired and my brain is going round and round in circles so before I repeat myself for a third fucking time I'm just going to come right out and say the point I was trying to make if you want to get started on YouTube, if you want to become a YouTuber, then you just need to be able to commit to it. If you want to become a serious YouTuber, like say Markiplier, PewDiePie and so on, then it does become like a job. It does essentially become your job and you do have to upload quite often, like I believe PewDiePie and Markiplier, I don't know about Jack, I don't know about Jacksepticeye, probably Jack as well. They upload videos either once every, either every day or every two days or something like that, very close together if you know what I mean. And the yeah, point I'm saying is people useful. probably don't realize how taxing that can be, and I don't mean taxing as it can become painful to watch, it can become irritating. Oh Jesus, you scared the hell out of me, Luke. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. He's in Bungalow 14. Please. Okay. Good. Look, you better go. He's running out of time. Okay, as I was saying, when YouTube does become taxing, what I mean is you can find yourself having corrupted files, you can find yourself having to re-record something, you can find your game crashing because I wanted to do, an e I wanted to record uh, and I did actually start recording, I started to record Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords but for some reason whenever the cinematics happened it just threw the voice sync out the window and it made it really confusing to watch and it just became not fun to watch and if you, it's not fun to watch people are not gonna watch it and as someone who, not even as someone who wants to make a job out of YouTube because I would love to one day make a career out of YouTube I really would but right now it is pretty much a hobby I am enjoying doing and I do plan to upload a lot more content a lot more frequently but the point I'm trying to make here, and I do apologize if I go round and round in circles. The point I'm trying to make is, even as someone who doesn't want to make a career out of YouTube, as someone who's just putting a video out there on the internet, you have a sort of obligation to make sure, or at least do your best to make sure the video Let's you are putting out is, is engaging for people to watch. And people will watch anything on the internet. Which, again, it sort of invalidates my point of what I'm saying. But, if, I, if what I'm saying just doesn't make sense, tell me now and I'll shut up. <laughs> Hopefully people understand what I'm trying to say and don't think I'm just some idiot. Which, I already know I am. Oh god, I might, I might as well be Bobo the Chimp.
Oh boy. I guess what I'm trying to say horribly I might add, considering I'm tired and I'm not exactly in the best of moods which isn't exactly helping is that it can become difficult to carry on doing YouTube especially when certain videos don't come out the right way like I guess I'm sort of lucky because I haven't really gotten to the point where um, I start getting spammers and such or hate mail if you know what I mean, but that can become extremely taxing on you, and it can just make you feel like complete shit. And when you feel like complete shit, you just don't want to do anything. And as I've mentioned, there have been times when I've just felt like not doing anything, especially with YouTube. I recently, um, we did some recordings and they didn't come out right, the files got corrupted, we kept having technical issues. Um, the first episode of the podcast we did, a whole section of the audio got missing, and it's really just put me in a bad mood, and it's really just made me feel like not doing it at all, but at the same time, I understand if I'm going to be serious about this, then these things are going to happen, and I have to learn to deal with them, I have to learn to just say, you know what, fuck it. It's been an up, it's been a downtime. We've just gotta roll on through, learn from our mistakes, and pretty much just say fuck it. So that's pretty much what we're doing. So me and Nylon hopefully will do another podcast, and hopefully all the audio will be there. I'm gonna take my time with rendering it. I'm gonna make sure you everything's my there. Uh, yeah. You? Yeah, I did, Craig. Here you go. Wait, you're not my brother. He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Okay, so now I've talked your ear off for the best part of, what, ten minutes or so? And I do apologize <laughs> if this video isn't fun to watch, or if it does get a little bit... you know, not fun because I felt like I needed to talk about it because it has been bothering me and YouTube as much as people will as much as I wouldn't like for it to become it is a little bit of an outlet because it does ring true for other people on YouTube I'm pretty sure everybody on YouTube who has tried to make a career out of it or has tried to be serious about it has come across some technical issues or days where They've just not wanted to do anything or continue with it. And if you do feel like that, all I can say is if you're really serious about YouTube and if you still want to continue with YouTube, that you've just pretty much got to say, fuck it. Please, my husband, he's bleeding. Can you help us? Hey, guy. Come, name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. You gotta believe me. Uh, but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Alright. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. You'll take her in. Oh yeah, the necklace should be here. Okay, 
So now I've talked your ears off, and I've pretty much got my point, hopefully across, if not completely what is happening warped here? up in my brain, not being able to focus correctly. We can focus on the gaming video, because that's... I do want to make this a fun video to watch. So come on, lady, get in. Oh, come on, get in, stop. There we go. It's time to show a little bit of the driving. That people didn't expect this to be in this if they've never seen that island. Woo! Hello, buddy. Ah, buddy. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. And I don't wanna sing no copyrighted songs. <laughs> hey, Open the gauge, please. Thank you. There are people living in the lighthouse? Pretty much. Hello. Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Mm, sure. Go inside. Talk to James. And the wrong door. And now we need to. Not this one. Okay, yeah, we can go do that one if we want to. Which might be useful. We've done that one. I want to do this one next. Because this one. Actually. No, this one kind of goes off in a tangent down there, so. Okay, you know what? Let's go do the. Where's the gas station? We go to ashes, to ashes. Gas station is back there, so we might as well do that that one next. Oh, I can't see behind me. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to get the gas, or the petrol, or the kerosene, or the gasoline, whatever you want to call it, from the station, and then we're going to head back to the lifeguard station, and then we're going to turn in all these quests. We're going to end episode three, episode two. Yeah, this car is not that good, so I'm gonna park it over here. There we go. What is it, man? Hey, hey you! Go over to the door. Uh, give me a sec to open it. Okay. Come on, quick. What's your name, Saphis? Your name's Saphis? Hmm. Hey, Dan. What, you want gas? Sorry, the pumps ain't working. Oh, great. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. Really now? Yeah, you know, maybe there's another way in. See, try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Okay. I bet you're alive. I freaking knew it. Get the hang of this. In this game, those guys that feign that they're dead when really they're alive, they are so freaking nasty to deal with. Especially when you get a bunch of them and they just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, so let's get up here and then we'll level up. Didn't I already level up? When I already leveled up? Well, apparently I had a point left. Okay, there we go. Did I have points spared this whole time and I didn't even notice? Can I get up here? I think I might be able to get up here. Let's have a go. Should be able to, I think. Oh. Yeah, I knew I could. Is there anything up here? What's in here? I might as well take it. Any junk I can pretty much sell. Hup. Hup. Okay. What's down here? Okay, we can get down this way. 
Oh, crap. I didn't see you. That did nothing. Oh yeah, you can jump back with A. Ooh. If you move back and press A, you'll do a jump back. A little bit like a dodge. It helps when you're up against these guys. Or any of the, like, specials that you be in the game. Just make sure you've got enough stamina to keep doing it when they do their attacks. There we go. I got nothing to fight with here! Come on, a little bit more. Oh. Booyah! Got it. Now give me my knife, bitch. Thank you. Okay, let's unbarricade this. And open that door. Fresh car. Perfect. Gasoline canisters. And you're alive. Aren't anymore. Okay, this hammer is done. So let's get out our stick. Actually, do we have a better stick? I'm thinking we have a well, we have a blue hammer, so we might as well use that. It's in here. Been really useful. Here we go. Okay, there goes the power. Let's open this. Okay. What's in here? Uh, is that any better than this one? Yes, it is. I'll switch them. Now, I'm going to do this, this way, because I think we only really need... I don't know how many casters we really need. Oh Christ! Get off me! All your heads just got exploded. Okay, I think we really need only one canister. But I could be wrong. So I'll tell you what. How many canisters do I need? Just to check. Uh bring fuel from the gas station. Fill A. Okay, so it just says fill A. So I'm pretty sure that means just one. And if it is just one, then we should be good up here. We got more infected on the way. Luckily the infected, they are so weak they go down really really quick. But the fact that they're the runners and they do, they can get free I think four hits as well. It really is irritating. And it gets really annoying when there's a group of them. Because if you don't have a Molotov or some sort of explosive that you can take them out of, you pretty much just have to kick them and take them out one by one. Or hopefully get a good blunt weapon or a sharp weapon that can attack multiple enemies at once. And then do a sort of swing and arch. And hopefully hit more than one. You'll probably not do as much damage as you should do against just one opponent but it should take them down pretty quickly a baseball bat's a pretty good weapon for that as you see it killed two of them in one hit so all's well that ends well I guess now we got another car so let's hand this in then we can hand in all the others and you should teach us how to make mollies and we can always use a good Molotov. These there you go. Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. Oh, that's a lovely picture. You okay, Mike? Where'd he go? Okay, he's gone upstairs. Whoa, great job. 
Okay, there's you. Let's go talk to Jack. Because he's the one who needs the life bag. Here you go, Jack. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. Hopefully, dude. Ooh, the sickle. Um, can I drop anything for that? Well, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna sell a bunch of shit. And then I'm gonna come back. For I that. heard this. Uh, I want to keep. Do I want to keep those? Oh, but I'll sell those. The baseball bat's pretty good. Tyrion crowbar and such. Let's just sell all these. Keep these two because these two are pretty Scourge good. Scourge came from out of space. And then we'll pick up the sickle because I do need a good sharp weapon. So the sickle is as good as any, I guess. Oh, we got the necklace as well. So we'll go hand that in. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. You're welcome. Flimsy slicer. So we got a sickle and a cleaver. We go on with the butcher. Came down on a guy. So let's repair and upgrade. We should have more than enough money to really do some good upgrading. So with the white weapons because they're the cheapest. Can we upgrade? Okay, we need 470 to upgrade the hammer. All right, now this is looking pretty good. And the sickle, that looks good. The cleaver looks good. Baseball bat looks good. Ooh, we might be able to modify the baseball bat. Ooh, I can show you guys the ripper. Should have enough for the ripper. There we go. Then repair it. Say hi to the ripper, boys. Now this thing is gonna be brilliant. But the noise is a little bit annoying at times. So... I have one more skill. Uh, where do I want to put it? Increases the number of inventory slots. That could be useful. But so could health regen. Let's do deeper pockets. Because I feel like it's going to be the most useful. Then we can talk to Mike, and he should be able to give us Molotovs. Some fucking vacation, huh? Yep. I can help you out, though. If you need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. In other words, bring this guy booze, he can make you Molotovs. I'm up for it. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles. Okay, I'm pretty sure he just keeps saying that. So how many Molotovs have we got? We got two Mollies. You know, there's a better way to kill those things. Yeah, and you've already pretty much told us. So I believe that is most of the quests. Find Maggie, look for Kayla's husband, get to the lighthouse. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, so this has been episode two of Dead Island. Hope you've all enjoyed, and as always, take care, and sayonara.